a welcome to structures pro we are still uh, on connection design in today's class i'll be showing you how to connect a column and a, a brazing how to connect a brazing to a column let's see the tree view okay something here connection of a brazing to base plate yes still base plate because the brazing is going to be there will be a gusset a, a, a gusset plate to connect this brazing to the column and the base plate so i'm going to select these two members then we run the connection quickly so in this class that's what we'll be doing We'll be connecting this joint where you have brazing coming to a column uh, at the at the pedestal point the top of concrete which is a uh, which has a um, base plate there so in our previous class we have done base plate design um, and the pedestal so today we will be adding it this uh, connection so let's uh, quickly let's quickly run that okay the first thing to do is to select the two members involved which is this brazing and this uh, column then we come to gusset click gusset yes then from here we start selecting templates the one that suits what we are looking for or what we want to do so this looks like it we have a column we have a, a brazing, a gusset plate, and this should be the base plate, then the pedestal. So I will choose this. So this is the, the, the template that we are going to use, gusset base plate connection. So you add it there, click OK. So the 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 design is done but there is one inch status one inch so we now need to go and check the output to see what the warnings are then you double click here or you select and click edit okay if you look at this we are you see that we have plenty work to do here we need to do a lot of modification so we quickly do that from this side yes this is maximum thickness of uh, base plate you can use uh, can use 30 i don't need anything more than that 25 self can do minimum thickness mm, base plate let me use eight and uh, thickness increment mm, increase by two yeah okay let me leave these ones for now these are things we, we have to play with we will be playing with all of these until this thing comes to shape and um, yes so this is our base plate so the base plate longitudinal dimension is this and this so i would like my base plate in the uh, when we designed our base plate in our one of the last classes um, the base plate I used, I used the 400mm for my base plate because my pedestal is 500 so I'm going to maintain that my pedestal has, has to be bigger than the base plate so if my pedestal is 500 the base plate should be um, 400 yes it's fair enough 400 so I'll put 400 here for the dimension of the base plate then for the transverse I'll put 400 again yeah okay then I'll come down this one is pedestal that is up under support we have pedestal
you have to distance so out here we will make my distance 500 mm 500 This one, 500 as well. Then in our in when we designed pedestal, we used pedestal of 1,500. Yes, you can see the thing is uh, it's coming to shape now. Is is looking good now? Very very okay. Okay, so we continue. Anchor position, my anchor boot. Okay, I think is okay where it is. I can as well change the edge distances from here. I can choose 35. I see, so it's coming out the more. So I don't really like that 35. It's pushing it out more, so I can take it back to 50. It was. It's okay for me. 50. I can even use 70. Seventeen. That was good. Anchor type you can change it to either L boot or or J boot. Sometimes if you use the L boot, if you notice that it is pushing out, it's coming outside the, it's going beyond the pe the pedestal. You can change the boot boot type. So. I, I would like to use here for this example I will have to use a headed yes then the anchor include not you can include not then anchor size I will use a European size M20 yeah okay. now looking big Effective embedment depth use uh, 700. Yeah, that's good. Okay, crack concrete. You can just play around it. Okay. The thickness of uh, the, the gusset plate can okay, we use six? Yes, okay. Okay, let me check my base plate thickness. Okay, under base plate thickness is that one. Don't like that one. Let me try sixteen. Try sixteen. Ah, oh, the design has failed, so it cannot take uh, sixteen mm boots. Let me, sorry, sixteen mm base plates. Let me try twenty. Okay, twenty is good. That's past zero point eight eight. That's okay. The world size, I always use six. Yeah, I think uh, we are done with this. That's the end. Though. We have we are done with it. It's okay. It's okay if if I want to take it to this other direction because in that uh, that our structure we have one to be connected to this flange, column flange and base plate. We also have another one to be connected to the column web and base plate so you can from here do the other side of it it's just the same thing under my column where is column so the it is currently on longitudinal position if you select transverse it takes it to the other side of the to the web so we actually have this type of uh, connection 
in our design so this one is okay as well so it's going to be connected like this yes so in the in the, in the drawing and uh, maybe during fabrication if this base plate here is actually clashing with this column flange they will transfer it transfer it to make way so it's, that one is not an issue so they will now weld the the gusset plate to this plate the base plate and also weld it to the web then the gusset plate will now be connected to the brazing and that's all very very simple so i can take it back to longitudinal yes there's another thing i would like to show you include routing if you click on it now you automatically routing will come exactly this is it see the the, the software is very very powerful very very interesting makes work very easy the reason for you to learn it i have done a lot of connection designs and this this water tank actually i started from scratch so check my channel watch all the video i took my time to do the design modeling and loading with combination analysis design parameters deflection check down to foundation design part 14 so i'm still doing connection design so if you have missed any of my classes i will i will say you go to my channel i i, I created the playlist where i put all the star pro lessons so just open play the playlist play every video there and grab all the information there okay and i also say if you have not subscribed to my channel please do please do subscribe and like my channel give me a thumbs up thank you as you do that so you click on data you see our our input our input uh, values then you click on results click on results you see everything passed see the green tick everything passed all the checks checks and balances which was compared to codes and standards passed everything passed there's no um no failure everything passed so that's all about the, this type of connection anytime you have this type of connection in your structure use the um, this uh, start pro connect you know and run it it's, it, it is very user friendly and very very easy to understand so i urge you to uh, if you don't have it in your system just install start pro it makes your work easier even if you're not working for a company as a private person you know you do your private work your pp it helps you a lot just model it load it everything comes up you can as well take this to autocad autocad drawing and you just you just need to clean it up the, the, the drawing is done already to scale i'm telling you in one of my classes i will show you how to take drawing like this to autocad save it to the xf file then you can change the extension and it becomes a tocard file and you edit your work in there instead of drawing drawing from scratch you start to start drawing all this boot and not and the rest of them it can it kills time so it has it's already done here what you just need is to clean it up change the text style to your tastes and any other thing you need to change but the whole work has been has been done so at this point we stop for today in our next class we keep uh, we keep bringing in more things i i post every day on my channel every day i teach something useful and something educative so subscribe to my channel so that on a daily basis you get to learn one or two things about engineering carding structural modeling and the rest of them subscribe like and share with your colleagues as you do that i thank you very much see you next time